see me. I need to get back on a workout routine. Instead of going to the gym one day a week, start going to the gym three days a week like I used to. Because that took more tries than I used to. Switch 50 50 back when he out. Should be first try every try. In a perfect world. Perfect world, it would be a first try every try. But we don't live in a perfect world. You got arthritis in your knees? You have arthritis in your knees? Oh no. No, I had a back surgery. I had three back surgeries that went wrong. Oh. And it left me like this. Oh. I got bad knees. Bad knees, uh, I've had bad knees since, uh, this video right about here. Okay, now you're subscribed. We're gonna uh, figure out where, how to get up here. Little known fact about this place. I got some stories to tell about over there on the other side. I probably could jump the fence if I really wanted to and then just walk back that way. Because back in high school we used to walk, park down there at St Steamers, I think that's what the restaurant is, and go way back here in the back before they blocked off. There's an entrance over there where they block it off and they put a gate up at steamer so you can't park there after hours but like 15 years ago high school days we used to park our cars way over there uh, walk that way I'm just not trying to walk all the way around walk that way all the way over there and over there and go party I'm just trying to figure out a, a better way of getting over than walking 
all the way around. And there's a train coming. Straight up train. You see that? That's pretty long. The reason why they put two engines on the back because one engine is pulling and two engines are pushing. So that means they must have had a heavy load on there. I'm gonna go walk all the way around so I can get this shot I've been talking about. I'm going to be breaking the law to get this photo. You read the sign back there, it says, no walking on the train tracks. Well, you got to do what you got to do. So, we're out here living life on the edge. You got to get your photo. You know, sometimes you just got to go, like I was saying, the extra mile. Hop fences, go lurk, climb, climb bridges to get a photo. Get a ladder to get a photo just for a tabletop. We're doing this all just for a tabletop. I'm gonna go over here, try to take a photo of something. It's crazy thinking back in high school, we used to come out here, you know, 11.30, midnight, one o'clock in the morning fucking faded walking around here holy cow and you could have fell off the cliff I saved somebody's life over here one time it was so cold out it was I remember it was I just remember it was being really cold out and um, I thought he was my homie well he was my friend at one time but you know you, you grow apart from people that aren't really your real friends in the first place your real friends you know who your real friends are is when they stick around with you and you can keep it real with them. And when you can't keep keep it real with your friends, sorry, I gotta fix this. We gotta, if you can't keep it real with your friends, they're not real. I am coming to it. Is this gonna be a different look and a different angle? Because everybody takes pictures of it way over there where it says you can't go past this point, you know? It looks like you can go past that point, like you just can't walk on the train tracks anymore. We're just trying to find something really, like, unique. Even if it's just like a glimpse of the bridge, I think it'd be cool in between, like, there you go, there you go. Haha, uh, if you're my real friend, and I invite you over to my, um, housewarming party that I'm gonna have at the trap house, uh, you'll be able to see this photo, uh, on my tabletop. So back to what I was saying about if you have, if you know if your friend is a real friend or not. Like I was saying, we used to party back here, back in high school. I don't understand why we never fell off these cliffs over here, because we used to walk around stupid drunk sometimes, or... Uh, you know, or whatever, you're in high school, so you think you're wasted. We used to sit on, I don't know if we sat on this bench or another bench somewhere. I just remember sitting on a bench and smoking blunts and getting really high. I remember that because a long time ago, weed was, wasn't really that strong until just a few years ago when they legalized it. And it got really strong, so I just, Altogether, I just don't like smoking weed because the way it makes me feel back in the day wasn't that bad because you got your weed from your homie and he knew where it was where it was grown from. The story what I was telling about my friend that was um, I saved his life was I was walking around out here doing our thing and we stumbled. I stumbled upon him. He threw up and he was laying on the ground and it was at least you know 50, 40 degrees out. And at this time, I wasn't I wasn't wasted or nothing. I was 
purely coherent on what was going on and, and f you know, figuring out my surroundings. Purely coherent around from my surroundings. And, and we found him laying there. He threw up. I picked him up. First of all, I said some things to him that I'm not going to share because they were pretty graphic. And I, and I did a thing that was unnecessary, but, you know, you're, you're young and um, you just don't know how to act like a civilized, mature human being at that point because I was wiling out. So I helped him. And then at that time, I had a cell phone that my mom gave me. No, it didn't give me. She lent it to me. And I dialed 911 because he wasn't, he was barely breathing. He, he, I had a, we had a, I had to go get a couple of homies that were up here at the, um, little camp, day camp area that we're all hanging out at and I help him move him to the table. You know, I called his mom at the time, uh, so he could get help and I saved his life. If he, if it wasn't for me that time and it was so cold out, I don't, I don't know what would have happened. I was a good friend and then. Sometime after that, I don't know what happened. He never, well, we, we hung out for a very long time, even after a little bit after high school, but after high school, it just, you know, I kept skating and filming and doing things, and he kind of quit skating and, and bought a Camaro and became a hard ass, one of those people. So it wasn't really that fun hanging out with him anymore, so. And to this day, like, he did some things on the back end of things that wasn't cool, and he knew it wasn't cool, so that's why we're not friends anymore. Real friends, you know, don't really do those type of things on the back end, behind your back, doing weird things. A real friend, you can actually have a full-blown conversation, you know, sit right here, smoke a blunt if you wanted to and with your friends or whatever your guys are into and have a full conversation like adults even if you're kids and I think half the time these kids out here nowadays think they have real friends but uh, don't really have real friends if that makes sense like they have friends just because like oh you have a camera so I'll become your friend because you have a camera and then after that camera is gone or I'll be your friend because, um, you know, you do things that benefit him. But after those things are um, not beneficial to him or her or whoever, they bounce. So those aren't real friends. Real friends uh, want you to, to succeed in, in whatever you're doing and give you pointers on how to do things better or whatever, help you out in certain ways. That's what I'm trying to say. It'd be really cool if I had a drone because this footage with the drone would be so sick. But here's a little camp out area, day camp area that I was talking about when I helped them. And there used to be, well now you can't burn fires. But there used to be a fire pit right here and a picnic table right there. And those are the bathrooms that used to be open. I don't know if they're still open, but we used to get down over here too. I remember because it was over there somewhere over there where I was sitting there never used to be those benches I remember sitting on that bench there's a bench over there with the homies smoking mad big blunts back in the day I don't do that no more just to let you guys know don't do that no more I've grown up I've grown up out of smoking weed too old Actually, I, it's just not my thing, basically. I know people that smoke weed. That's their thing still, but smoking weed is just not my thing anymore. It was when I was growing in the ground in a pot in my friend's house in his closet. That's when I was into smoking weed. And one time we were walking back from being over there and where there's a big group of girls fucking faded walking over here. And then the girl was so drunk, she just took her pants off right here and just started pissing. Didn't matter who was around, that's when you know you're faded. And you need to get, you know, should have waited. You just pissed right then and there. Crazy. Today is the next day. We went out there, I did some things, took some pictures, talked about some stuff. And then when I was walking back to my car, my 
uh, fisheye lens from my camera broke. I felt my camera, I was just walking, you know, along. And I was literally like 10 feet away from my car and my um, camera fell out of my hand and it broke. So I put another wide angle lens on a, the stock body lens on my camera. And can you, if you can tell the difference or if I should just uh, get my other fisheye lens replace it or whatever you tell me if you can tell the difference between this lens and my fisheye lens so again I want to say thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for watching and we're out here making shirts it's Groundhog's Day how old are you? I'm <laughs> just kidding 12 and a half <laughs> I'm 5 2 and 3 quarters any like the candidates will be in this room. 89. Right, and I'm sure you can lie to us. Look, guys, just like... Keep it casual. Must be on a higher level. Keep it casual. Must be 